Understanding Clinical Trials in Melanoma. Clinical trials are research studies in which people volunteer to help test new ways to screen for or diagnose melanoma, new procedures, or new treatments. Clinical trials help researchers develop better tests and treatments. They also tell doctors about safety and side effects. Most clinical trials in melanoma test new treatments. In this animation, we will focus on trials of new melanoma treatments. By joining a clinical trial for a new melanoma treatment, you may be able to get the new treatment before it's available anywhere else. You may receive more frequent checkups, more opportunities to ask questions, and free drugs and procedures. By helping to find out how well a new treatment works, you may help other patients with melanoma. Being in a clinical trial poses some risks. The new treatment may not work for you, or it may have unexpected side effects. In some trials, you may not have a choice about the treatment you receive. If you decide to join a trial, but then change your mind, you can leave at any time for any reason. This won't affect the care you receive from your healthcare team. Clinical trials have four phases. In phase one, a small group of volunteers test the treatment to learn how safe it is, its side effects, and what is the optimal dose and schedule. In phase two, a larger group of volunteers test the treatment safety and effect on the disease. In phase three, many volunteers take the treatment to learn how well it works compared to current treatments. If the treatment proves to be safe and effective, it can be approved for use outside of a clinical trial. In phase four, researchers do further studies to learn how best to use the newly approved and marketed therapy. Most clinical trials have limits on who can take part, called eligibility criteria. These limits help ensure a margin of safety for those receiving the treatment. Here are some terms you may hear about clinical trials. Informed consent is a process that helps you learn about a trial and decide if you want to join it. Informed consent includes a document that explains the trial in basic language and how your rights will be protected. If you decide to join the trial, you will be asked to sign this document. A placebo is an inactive substance that looks just like the treatment being tested and is given in the same way. In a cancer treatment trial, a placebo may be used to help researchers learn what effect a new treatment really has. For example, a placebo may be used to find out if adding a new drug would make an existing treatment work better, or if there is currently no effective treatment for the type or stage of cancer that's being studied. A randomized trial compares two or more treatments. To avoid bias, a computer allocates treatments randomly to trial participants prior to starting the study. Blinding means that you, your doctors, or both don't know which treatment you're receiving until the trial is unblinded. This is another step to avoid bias. You will be followed closely with appropriate exams and tests regardless of your treatment assignment. A protocol is a detailed plan for how the trial will be conducted. Following the protocol helps ensure that the results are valid. Here are some questions you may want to ask your healthcare team about a melanoma clinical trial. Why is this trial being done? What are my other options? What tests and treatments will I receive? What are the treatment's risks and side effects? Will my insurance cover my treatment? How will my privacy be protected? What happens if I change my mind about being in the trial? What happens if I become pregnant? Consider taking notes or bringing someone with you when you meet with your healthcare team to discuss these questions. Only you, together with your loved ones and your healthcare team, can decide if a clinical trial is right for you. Keep in mind that every treatment used routinely today for melanoma was first tested and shown to be safe and effective in a clinical trial, and that clinical trials can be a hopeful option for many patients at any stage of disease, not just advanced disease. Be sure to discuss all your treatment options 
including clinical trials with your healthcare team.